Hello and welcome to my second time making a wig. So if you watched my Credence Fantastic Beast video, it's basically the same concept. It's a wig where you make a wig cap and then you glue some hair on. And <laughs> I definitely learnt from that. So to begin with, you have to make the wig cap. So get some stretchy elastic material and make it taut over the head. So I just used a hairband, which unfortunately was destroyed by the experience, but you know, sacrifices are to be made. And you have to try to make minimum amount of creases, because that was definitely one of the mistakes I made with credences. And then when you've got the wig cap on, use decoupage, paste, or some sort of glue that works. Decoupage is the only one I know of to make it. It basically in, it makes the fabric like absorb it. I don't know science. <laughs> now we have a nice wig cap. You have to plan the wig. So to begin with, the thing I had to get around was the fact that this is an eared character. So I kind of learned a bit from Delightful's sewn wig tutorial for this and basically you, you at least want it to be thinner where the ears go on because they're magnetic. So you can have a layer of hair beneath but ideally you don't want it to be too thick because then it might not stick or stay in place. So I did a circle and a middle parting and kind of the rest of it just going in a spiral, the sequences of circles and I have a trick here, use chalk, not chalk pastels, um, it's like a chalk pen and they, they rub away with water so they're fantastic because give it a wash and all of the evidence is gone. Now with the wig wefts i would definitely recommend you can buy bjd length wefts buy them you can get them curled it, it they'll, they're pretty fantastic however uh, as i find they don't really do boy lengths because most people want pretty girl wigs so i've got some oh retro dolls that's what called and we said delightful again she does not sell hair so retro dolls hair and I would say this probably took about one, two and a half small sized, um, I think it's Kinecolon or nylon, uh, not a nylon, like a tights, bags from that. So prepare to purchase more than you'd think. And also because I wanted a white wig, kind of white rabbit kind of character. Uh, that's the thinnest, it's the least pigmented colour, as I keep on saying, and so it won't cover up the prior layers as well as other hairs will. So, you know, just making life hard for myself. Since we've already established with the planning how we're going to do it in circles going up to the top of the head, I, it's kind of... It's, we've already explained what we're doing, so I'm just going to have a little montage of me doing that and also tips. So because we're using the same kind of glue to attach the hair to the head as what the wig cap is made of, you can kind of use a step method. So where the hair weft ends, make a kind of step and fill in the little triangle. So you're not just glued on the bottom, you're also glued at the side and the top, if that makes any sense. It just makes it more stable. However, as I, um, I, I'm very aware because I gave up on using this method with Credence's wig 
you can also just use super glue super glue works so well it's so much quicker there's no waiting drying time but i really wanted to try to do it the the real way the real way no one's telling you how to make a wig well i guess i am uh, watch me do it <laughs> One thing I did that I think was pretty cool was trying to do the middle parting. So obviously when you're, it's completely different from when you're rerouting because you kind of go through the holes and zigzag half of it this way, half of that way. And I'm not sure, I'm sure there's a way you can do it with these kind of wefts, but I don't know how. So what I did is I cut a hole, a little slice down where I wanted the middle parting to be and stuck the wefts on the inside coming out so it should create a more natural parting so you definitely can't see any scalp in that area because I glued that down <laughs> and it, it can be tricky this is one I'd definitely recommend getting a little help from super glue and then you know reinforcing the inside with the other glue because you don't want the cut splitting the wig because then it won't fit as well, it won't be as snug and mm, I don't know, it's a cool idea. <laughs> And now we've got a very shaggy, kind of ugly wig. So <laughs> it's fantastic, woo, you've done the thing. Now we're gonna make it look good. So I boil washed it within a bag so that it made sure the parting was going in the right direction and nothing was becoming matted because it's boiling water and my hands are soft and human. <laughs> so that worked really well however i did have to boil wash it again after i gave it a snip because it wasn't laying as flat around the ear kind of area as i would want i guess the uh, the stuff in the way and the fact that the water couldn't get in the actual water so the heat was helping but not the actual water um meant that it didn't work as well as usual boil washing but I gave it a snip tried to make it nice and snug around the nape and I'm pretty happy with it it's kind of got it's not <laughs> I mean I'm obviously an amateur you can tell by the wig but it's successful in what it attempted to do even if it's not the most fashionable so yeah after I snipped it I put it in a I think it's a hummus holdy bit and uh, tied that down to keep the sides down and yeah see how it goes and yeah so thank you come again <laughs> <laughs>